Hello guys, it's me. Hi. Uh, well, today we're going to do a whole natural uh, look and try to not try and test uh, new products uh, from a lovely company who are using all natural product, uh, all natural ingredients, cruelty-free products, and because of that, oh, we're going natural today. So this is my short natural hair. Let me know if you like it. I can't put it back if you don't though. I'm sorry. I have extensions. Anyways, um, if you want to see what products we're using and how they perform, please keep on watching. Okay, my lovely. So let me tell you a bit about this guy. So just for you know, I'm just reading from their website. Um, so they're a small company determined to provide finest quality cosmetics to real women who want to be as beautiful as they can be without using harmful ingredients such as synthetic preservatives, uh, synthetic dye and, and, and other words that I can't pronounce here. Um, another non-traditional thing that they do is they say that they will never discontinue a product and it's very sweet how they do it. Don't you hate when you finally found the foundation you love and you use it and go back for more and only to find that, it, that they don't make it anymore. Yes, we do hate that, just pure mineral. Thank you. Um, well, then you have to buy and try several new products, of course. Well, that's the trick, isn't it? We suspect, we suspect most companies, most, la uh, most companies make a large percentage of their money on products people buy and ultim ultimately have not, no use for. That's very true. Um, that's why they discontinue products. It's most profitable to have their customers try new things all the time. Very true again. And then they say, we don't play that game. Good for you guys. Since we made the products in small batches, we have the freedom and the flexibility to continue making products forever or for as long as the ingredients are available for us to buy and there is a breath in our bodies <laughs> large companies can't do that because they have to keep their costs per item low by producing uh, gargantuan quality quantities of each product something about profit or whatever <laughs> man we don't claim uh, to be business genius over here i think you guys are doing a good job we simply want you to have what you want when you want it as long as you want it at a great price is that so hard well in some cases it is, it is. in some cases it is um, and let me tell you a bit about the products that i got also because I didn't mention that, did I? I just went right into the company. So the products are 100% vegan um, and they are, of course, cruelty free. Um, and they, uh, as, as I said before, they uh, use natural ingredients. Um, and they, see, they say here, ideal for sensitive skin, we avoid ingredients, even natural ones that can cause irritation um, and what I got from them vegan lip products and I got these lovely lipsticks they come into a bunch of shades and it um, it sells for $12.95 one um, but you can also get samples of them which they've been kind enough to actually send to me they send five samples of and the samples look like this this for instance is mambo on the back of it it says the name focus mm -hmm. there you go and they've sent four of that this to me so they sent they sent 
Pink Whisper. Mm, they said Mambo, they said Madison. Oh, look at this color. They said Bordeaux. And they said Sangria. Andale. And samples advertised for one. And they also have lip glosses that I didn't get. Um, moisturizing lip glosses and the lip glosses advertised for 895 uh, lip gloss or 150 a sample um, they also have lip balms um, they have a bunch of products here guys and um, but well, let me show you the lipstick that I got so the lipsticks how many shades they are one two three four five six seven eight nine I can't I stop I lost I lost count because we have a visitor who's interested in the samples. Hello. What? Do you want to look in the mirror? Look how pretty you are. Look. Look how pretty you are. He's looking in the mirror and he's like Who's that guy staring at me there? And I don't know him but I don't like him. Come on, get down. Okay, so they have 14 shades of the lipsticks and I got four of them. I got Tango, which is this color. And it looks like this. On the skin, they don't look very pigmented, but I put one on the lips and on the lips, I don't know why it's showing much more color than on the skin. I'll show you. Stay tuned. And I got natural, which is this lovely nude shade. And it looks like this. I don't know how why I have a blue dot on my hand. Ignore it, please. I got ruby, which is this shade here uh, where shall we put this this is much more pigmented and, and the last one is Cerise or Cherise or I don't know how you spell how you say it but is this color really pretty and they have um they have a bit of a minty um, scent to them which I really like but if you don't like mint I don't know it's not very strong but it is a bit of minty scent and I uh, as I said I put it I, I played with them yesterday when I got them and you can feel the minty scent on the leaves it's not tingly or anything it's just you can feel the scent and also they have so they have lipsticks uh, let me go back and I'll tell you. I'll tell you. One second. One second. They have lipsticks. They have. Um, uh, they have all sorts of products. They have face, eyes, brows. Um, in the face category, they have blushes and foundations, natural powder foundations, and blushes. And for all of them, what I like about these guys is that you can get samples and the samples are quite inexpensive. It's one pound something a sample and you can try it and see, especially because you're ordering online. I think that's such a good idea because you can get a sample, try to see if it's the shade that you need and then you can actually get a whole container because let's Say for instance, the mineral blush that I got samples of, um, it retails for $14.95, one, but because I didn't know, because they have quite a few shades on this one also, they have 14 shades of the beautiful mineral blush also, I didn't know which one and how pigmented they are and how they look on my skin, so I got samples for them and the samples are much more inexpensive and i can't see oh it's 125 a sample and i got bloom 
I got girly pink, I got apricot, I got shy berry, which I really like, the names are really fun also. Uh, I got pink petal blush and the last one that I got is rose blush. Um, and looking through them, I think I'm actually going to put on the face today this apricot one. Let me see if I can swatch some for you guys. And this is how it looks. It's just really, really, really nice and pigmented and it has a bit of sheer to it which I really like. Actually, this one you can use on the lid also. I think I might do that. So let's go into, oh my God, this is so pigmented. I think this is going to be way too pigmented for mine. Yes, it's very pigmented. is way too pigmented yes this is very pigmented i am going to keep it and use it on the eyelids but i'm going to try to go into another one because it's very very pigmented i'm going to try to go into this pink pearl one they all have a bit of sheer into them i think let me show you how this pink pearl one looks Let me see. Oh, this is better. Oh, this will go as a highlight also. Yes, I think so. Oh, actually. Mm. Let's see how this rose blush is. Rose. Mm, this is the rose shade. Oh, this would go as a highlighter also. This is a bit more cool toned. Um, the rose one is a bit more cool tone than the pink one. I think I'm going to go with this pink pearl one. Oh my lord, these are so pigmented. I don't know what is happening, but when you put it on, it's, I've noticed that for the lipstick also, when you, when you put it on the skin, I think the pigment activates or something because they don't look as pigmented on the pan, but when you put it on the brush and on the skin, it's like, look! Look on my hand! I was rolling the brush in the hand. It's just like, <gasps> okay. I'm so happy that I put this on the hand before <laughs> because it w can you imagine having this on the cheeks? Huh? This is way too much, it's so pigmented. Which is a good thing, don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining, I'm not complaining. Oh, I love this color. I have, I, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit strange now because I have color on this cheek and a color on this cheek, so we're going to have to do everything uniform. I'm going to put a bit of powder so powder brush lift up some powder on so I can take some of this off and let's go into this color again oh my god did you see that And I just took like a little bit, like a really small amount, and it's like, poof, color, baby. Rosy cheeks indeed. Okay, <laughs> what I'm going to do now, because I have these other colors that I think would work really well, some of them as highlights, some of them on the lids, I'm actually going to do that. Um, Chew. Shoo, shoo, show. Let's pick up a small brush and I'm going to go into this color, which is, I have to do like this, Joby. This is rose, rose blush, yes. 
and this is a bit of cool almost berry color and just try to use this as a highlight see I'm also going to use this on the high points of the brow bone. I'm going to go in with a bit of a bit of apricot, I think. Apricot is this one, isn't it? Yes, apricot. And I'm going to use the same brush. Just take some, and I'm going to put some in the crease. Can you guys see that pigment? Like, really? Can you see that? I'm really shook. Like, I wasn't expecting this. only thing I can say is it was worth paying those custom custom taxes this is just really good product and I'm sad that I didn't buy like a whole pan of like a full pan of them but I'm going back on the website because I know that they're not going to discontinue the products This is really nice. And with a smaller brush, with a smaller brush like this, I want to put some of this lovely color, uh, which is girl pink again. And I want to put some. Should I go in girl pink? Should I go in this one? What's this one? Blue. I don't know. I don't know oh so beautiful i don't know it's going to bloom i'm just putting this all over the lane these are blushes guys yeah uh but doesn't mean that you can't use them on the lid especially because they're natural uh all good ingredient products so i know that is not going to be bad for my eyes or for my lid in any way and with this same color bloom I'm going on the lower lash line these are so lovely warm colors okay i'm going to leave the eyes um, like this because i have no eyeliner or anything like that and i don't want to go into other products um i just want to keep this look all natural and with all these products um from then so i am closing down the fingers that's why you hear the noise sorry I, they're just too nice i don't want them to spill um and i know my i know me I'm definitely going to spell them so I'll um, what I'll do I'll do a bit of mascara and then I'll come back to you guys for the lips okay my darlings so I did a bit of mascara I curled my lashes so let's go into these beautiful lipsticks that I have here and let's put them on and I'll show you how they look shall we start with the natural one hmm? and then go higher Let's put on the natural one. Well, it is natural, I'll say that. Um, it looks a bit more like I have a lip balm on than um, a lipstick, but I really like it. Um, it's 
one you need from a natural lipstick it's showing like I have a bit of lipstick on it's very hydrating to the lips it doesn't stick together it's very nice you know that it's all natural ingredients and if you like mint you're golden uh, let's go into I think ruby is the next one yes let me wipe this off and I'll put ruby on okay this is how ruby looks like uh, do I want to put ruby or I have another one? Oh no Charisse sorry I want to put Charisse on which is this one this is how it looks like. Let's see how it looks on the lips. This is Charisse. Uh, it's a lovely um, color. I don't know how to describe it. It's just I, I just like it. It's really nice. It's it's a bit of like if you want your lip color but not so much if it's your lip color is a bit more amped up of course depending on your skin type and your skin tone because for some people with darker complexion this might be actually their natural lip color so for me it's a bit like my lip color but not so much it's a bit more um, so like if I don't feel like wearing a natural lip gloss or a lip balm or not, no lipstick, I just, if I just feel like wearing something, something a bit more, this is the color that I go to. So it's really nice. And again, it's the same consistency as the other one. It's very hydrating. It feels very hydrating to the lips. I don't feel any problem in wearing this a whole day. So, let me wipe this off and then we'll put on a uh, natango. Then we'll put on which one is the darkest one? Yeah, tango. Then we'll put on ruby. Um, and this time I'm not lying. Also, I um, I want to mention that they come off really easy. They I don't feel like I have to. They um, like I have to drag the tissue. There is pigment there. It's not staining the lips it's, you can see it on the lips but then when you wipe it off it comes out really nice and easy so let's go into ruby now which is this color right here so this is how ruby looks like on the lips um it's very nice very pigmented i wore this actually yesterday when i got the products i couldn't i couldn't i just had to put one of them on the lips and this is the one that I came to hand so i put this on the lips yesterday and i was wearing it when i was in the house and i was surprised of how long it was lasting on the lips um you would think that because it's a natural product it won't last as much on the lips i don't know if I don't know that's just a misconception I think that most of us has have not has have <laughs> about natural products but I'm telling you it's lasting on the lips as much as a normal lipstick will um, and let's go into the last one let me take this off and then we'll put on tango okay let's go into tango this is the color I love this color for fall it's going to be amazing And then this is how tango looks on the lips um, this is a bit more creamier than the other three that we um, used and as you can see it's not as pigmented um, to be honest from this to this I was expecting a bit more pigment for this one um, but it's still a lovely color it's still really beautiful um, and I think maybe in a way that's a good thing because not everybody can wear this sort of color and if it's really really intense you can't wear it um, so this way it's just a bit more like a stain if you will on the lips but it's still hydrating 
Well, I actually decided to put on the samples that they sent me also because as I said, they were kind enough to send me five samples. Um, so this one that I have going on on the leaves right now, this is called Pink Whisper and this is how it looks in the, the pan that they sent me. And this is how it looks on the lips. Uh, this is called Mambo and this is how it looks on the lips. And this is how it looks in the little pan. Well, here we have a, a deeper color and this is called Bordeaux. And it looks like this in the pan. And here we have Madison. This is a nice plum color. And this is how it looks in the pan. And this is the last color that I have. This is called Sangria. And this is how it looks on the lips. And this is the back on. Okay guys, so this is the final look. Uh, I've went back with Cherise or series or something I don't know I can't pronounce it anyways um, this is the final look I'm so impressed with these products um, just mineral products expect an order from me they're really good products I'm really really impressed with them I do hope that you guys will have um, success in in your business and i'm going to try to recommend this company as much as i can because i really love the products i love the pigmentation like it's just incredible um the pigmentation of these blushes that we used blew my flicking mind off that's all i'm saying anyways uh i'm rambling thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it and you want to see more videos uh with testing natural ingredient products cruelty free and all that jazz that i'm all about um please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click that notification ring bell button so you'll be notified every time when i'm uploading a new video which I'm trying to create the habit of doing it every sun Saturday uh, morning, 8 p.m. UK, 8, no, 8 a.m. UK time, sorry. <laughs> uh, and yeah, so don't forget to click that ring bell button so you'll be notified when the videos come live. Um, again, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.